they get mad, they get angry. And you see a lot of sisters, they go, oh, you, you f with this kind of girl or that kind of girl. That shit is exotic. <laughs> Stupid. That look a lot different from the shit that you see in the neighborhood all the time. It looks like shit. That look like you came off a boat, man. You don't know, like that, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't like that? You go, God damn. What's the matter with you? <laughs> it feels like something for It feels like something that you can't just get. So in some kind of ways, it, it is interesting to explore. You know what I'm saying? But they get mad, they get angry. How did you end up with this mother or this guy? I'm like, huh? They get real. <clears throat> they get real. I just look at it like, oh, look at this angry. And then my instincts always makes me defensive. So I go, look at this angry black motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Try to the whole vibe. You understand what I'm saying to you? Cause you're going, no, I know what the f you doing. And then you go, and it's not even, it's not even that that's the real thing. But it's the way instinctively how you feel because the person is got defensive. Is you're defensive. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's good? What's happening? He likes this woman exotic. And with these exotic women, whatever the heck that means, um, because in my mind, if if you marry somebody from Africa, the Caribbean, or whatever, that's exotic, right? But they're not exotic when they're dark skinned. But anyway, that's a whole different topic. But then, so he's like, he likes them when they're exotic, and when they're exotic, and you're with them, and like you go to their crib or whatever, they already have the Ferraris, they already have everything over there. Like, stuff like that is like very just, just normal to them. So basically, implying that, you know, when you get with some of these chicks, like, Life is already sweet because they don't actually need much from you. But what they forget, because we've watched them over the years, is that yes, indeed, they will try to get with them, BW, and then they'll try to get with a BW, and just I don't know what it's to see what it's like, what it's to say that they've tried, so that they can then after that dismiss all BWs, because this is this is some of the stuff that they do, right? They'll get with somebody who's black, then. They'll be like, ah, oh, they're angry, they're this, they're that, they're that, they're that. I don't know what you did to make that person angry. I'm sure you had a hand in it as well. But it's a lot of frustration because if you look at any statistics, this is not just me just talking any nonsense, but if you look at statistics, like, these women that get with these rappers, the, the stuff don't last. Recently, I heard Timberland and his wife of 25 or 20-something years were getting a divorce. I was like, what the heck is going on? Even the guys I thought were like really, you know, solid, they are not able to make it. And it's sad. It's actually sad. So anyway, here we are. This is what he said. And people are making videos about it. But if you notice this time with the videos that black creators are making about this, and especially black women, we are no longer outraged if we ever were. What these people, what these rappers need to know is that we don't care. You people don't want a woman that's exotic. You just want a whole bunch of different women all the time. That's your problem. It's not about them being exotic. You guys, because you, you, you say you have this preference and you want a certain aesthetic standing next to you, you specifically go out and choose these particular people. You specifically go out and choose these particular people. That is what you guys do okay but you get them as exotic as you could ever pick them as exotic as money can ever buy and you guys are never happy you guys will never kick the bucket with the same woman by your side that you were rambling about in your early 20s and 30s singing about and rapping about in your songs talking about she exotic they they're never your ride or die they're never your forever love they're never your forever boo they're never they, they're never more than your baby mama are you proud of yourself <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous and at this point they're making all these videos and stuff like that you know Lil Wayne is over there 50 Cent is talking his stuff Lil Wayne is over there sounding like like he needs an inhaler or something I don't know what's going on over there <laughs> it feels like something for him it feels like something that you can't just like he's wheezing well I guess that's why they call him wheezy oh that's why they call him wheezy okay is that wheezy? I think so Anyway, I don't care. But yeah, he's wheezing, he's laughing. And it's like, my friend, are you okay? <laughs> Charlie, are you good? 
because that is not normal behavior i'm also tired of interviewers or people who are having these conversations on podcasts especially in the last few months you guys it's been ridiculous and then you know they're having a podcast or whatever somebody says something irate ridiculous something that you should never say an interview is just like either nervous giggling or totally in agreement now this is a bad example because Lil Wayne we all know that this is the stuff that he would be supporting because he says it's in, in his in his songs you know tougher than Nigerian hair I bet that chick would look better red bone and all this stuff that as a kid I was like huh he's saying something about me ain't right he's saying something about me he don't like something about people that look like me he doesn't like thank god i got parents and a support system and family and friends and people around me that always said you know you're good you're gucci you're beautiful you're smart he's important he's you know you're cool and most importantly god is cool with you and i think as parents you have to constantly affirm these these things to your kids because otherwise these rappers will be raising your kids and it's not gonna turn out well they're gonna grow up with so much self-hate and so much self-loathing if they're looking for this gratification from these rappers and stuff like that and if some maybe some some dark-skinned black woman will be like but I can change them they'll be like I can change them so they're like I can change them so they'll just force the relationship but that's not healthy and it's not necessary just go for guys that actually like you i mean with these people you can easily play inspector gadget and know that they don't like you so why are we bothering ourselves and also for the record i'm at 50 cents happy birthday by the way um we don't really care (laughs) we don't really care and we're not that angry either you guys have done this so many times that now we just don't care don't be angry when we go with another race though when we go with our version of exotic when we when we leave you guys behind don't talk about oh the sisters are going for other people and this and that no at that point it's all over i think it's very damning and ridiculous that people are out here saying these type of things when they look the same way that they don't want their counterparts to look like so imagine being like i've heard this with people who are from certain countries and they're like i'm never dating or marrying somebody from that country it's like what have you seen that is so bad from these people in your own country where you come from that you don't want to be you know that you don't want to date or be with somebody from there now i must say i know a lot of people who have done that heck maybe i was one of them why because the people that look like me would say stuff like this that's why and then it's very repulsive and repelling and you're like okay i want nothing to do with that Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. Other in fact, there was a time when I was younger, 50 Cent in particular, I was like, that's going to be my husband. <laughs> oh dear. But you know, I was young and it was this fandom stuff and I didn't know nothing. But now I do. And let me tell you, we don't want it. We don't want it. We don't need it. We don't want it. We don't need it. Because why would you need something that doesn't need you? That doesn't, you know, why would you want somebody that doesn't need you, doesn't want you, is repulsed by you, just doesn't seem to see your worth? Mm -mm. It's not necessary. But anyway, that's enough of you looking at my chin. The reason you've been looking at my chin is because I don't want you to know where I am. But anyway, um, yeah. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit thumbs up, as well as that subscribe button, comment, because I really want to know what you think. Like, because you obviously liked this video. And learned a lot. Oh, she had a hit the notification bell. You know what's so weird? It's actually like, it's actually usually like when a black woman gets with a white man, then all the black people, the, the black men who come out of the woodworks, talking about, they'll come out from the shadows. Like, skirt um oh sisters we're losing all the sisters sisters come back sisters this all of a sudden we're sisters oh yeah that's what i was gonna say when 50 cent was calling us angry (laughs) he called us sisters please that's like that's like using a, a pet name that's like using a pet name for somebody and insulting them that's like british people using british niceness and talking about darling you're right darling and then when you leave like she's such a b 
word. <laughs> That's what people do. I, I sometimes don't even like pet names because sometimes I, 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 I didn't give you no permission to call me any of these, these things that you're, you think are endearing. And then you're using it to soften... I don't know, to almost soften the blow of me finding out that you've been talking behind my back. That's that's the kind of thing that people do. But anyway, so he calls his sisters. I'm like, but why are you calling his sisters? Like, that sounds to me like... A, 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 you know, and that sounds to me like an endearing thing to say. Why are, you, why are you saying that when you actually have nothing endearing? Mm-hmm. You know, to actually say mm-hmm. about the people... At these protests, it's a lot of black women fighting for black men's, you know, freedom. And for that police brutality to stop against black men. Black women are on the front line fighting for this stuff. But you guys don't see our worth. It's incredible. And then when others do, you start crying, boo-hoo, ma 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 Because we don't like you. And now you're shocked. So basically what it is is that you guys want it all. Like the Queen song. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. That is you guys. And that's what they do. They want it all. They want it all. They want it all. And they want it now. They get it now. And then they lose it later. (laughs) They can't even hold on to it. At the end of the day, there's a lot of self-hate. You can't tell me it's not self-hate. It's self-hate. Because if you look the way you do, which is dark, and you're like, I don't want a dark counterpart. I don't want a dark, a connection, love connection with somebody else who looks exactly like me. That's self-hate. You can't warp it, morph it into something else that it isn't. That's just what it is. That's self So that's one. And then two, just being unsatisfied, ungrateful with, with, hello. Uh Thank you. Being unsatisfied with with uh, with whatever you get that's another problem because when they do get things they never hold on to it we've seen it so i don't actually know who these people are that that then get with these guys but you know there's a whole scheme behind this hello thank you very much so it's a whole scheme that these people have which is get with the guy i know i might not stay long with the guy they make sure that they get pregnant then they get the alimony and they're basically set for life or at least until the baby is 18 it's a long periodical time by this time you would have been on real housewives of this real housewives of atlanta new york uh, mississippi me i don't know miami everywhere and they'll be getting money from that and next thing you know they have a book and next thing you know they have a makeup line next thing you know you have jewelry line next thing you know they have a perfume line and then from then on it's just trying to get your face out everywhere for the rest of your life get yourself involved in some fake or real scandals it doesn't really matter as long as the attention is on you and then at some point you you come out when you're like past 50 that's when you start coming out with oh they did this they did that they were actually into very weird stuff let me tell you guys in fact no i'm not going to tell you guys watch the movie no in fact watch the documentary that's going to come out about this stuff really really soon um oh no um I'm also going to drop a podcast. Then you guys can hear all the juicy things that I will stretch out over a course of three years in my podcast. So it will keep coming and the money also keep coming, rolling in. So sometimes these women that get with these guys, that they think they're so amazing that an exotic woman will be with them. The exotic woman, (laughs) or even black women do this too sometimes, to be honest. We're not even going to lie because they know this is a short-lived thing. So they plan out their entire life. Yes, people can have kids as a plan. People can have kids as a plan. Why not? Mm, that's what they be doing. So it's actually crazy. It's crazy. But we're not angry. We're not. We're not. We're just chilling and watching the whole nonsense unfold. Knowing that as long as you guys don't want us, we don't want you either. We're not going to be with a rapper who's just going to talk, throw you in the trash as soon as they can. What is the point? Most of us that have half a brain will know that there is nothing cool about this so it's okay it's very very okay it's fine do what you got to do we know you're not happy we'll pray for you ain't that right Mm -hmm. yeah we'll pray for you that's the best we can do we'll live our own best lives we'll live our best lives and we'll pray for you that's what's going to happen over here nobody's angry 
at this point we're not even frustrated we're just looking at this mess unfold and letting god do the rest so hope you guys are praying for yourselves too because you need it you actually need it anyway 